one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a really nice 1994 F350 4x4 utility bed truck with the lift gate yeah baby 460 7.5 liter motor EFI and all that good stuff um, somebody just put new rubber on the back of it um, I'm gonna go around kind of give you a once around and show you the truck and all its splendor and then I'll go around and show you any minor flaws and such on it uh, if you're looking for a good work truck especially in a 4x well here you go um, I kinda got it boxed in here a little differently on this one uh, you got a hitch on it all put on the bed which is an interesting thing for these beds to have a nice hitch on it and not something all tack welded on and everything um, take off sides so you got the flat bed, stake bed Somebody just put these tires on it, man. You got a Firestone Transforce. Little titties all over the side. And I'll tell you what, they're little titties on the tread, too. They ain't even been driven on too much. This one here is not as new, but it's pretty dang new. You got, I'd say, 90 to 95% tread on your back tires. Front tires are a bit less. Um, but these just been replaced, man. It's just all there is to it. Clean truck. Um, Worst thing I can say about this truck, and I'm not going to do anything, is the transmission is bad in it. Um, and I'm going to start it up for you. It's a good runner. Um, 128,000, two owner. Um, nice truck. Just got the obvious tranny thing. And with them, when I get them with that problem, it is not worth it to me to replace the tranny because then the warranty stays with me. And I'd much rather the warranty go with the new owner. Um, let me show you the underneath here where we are. Um, the truck's in great shape. Typical patina type thing where the paint gets chipped off on stuff. Bottom of the old pan and everything's in great shape. It's very clean. Dry, not all leaky everywhere or nothing. Um, there's a small drip on the rear main seal. That would be no problem though when you put in your tranny. And you can get these. Tranny is pretty dang reasonable with a warranty, which is exactly what I would do. Now that's how the frame all looked, not rusty or nothing like that. Ow, you know, it's, it's solid. Nice top coat where the paint chips off, and it's been sprayed down in the more the looker areas, I guess you'd say. Like such. Well, I moved it out here to show you in a different light, kind of. Speaking of light, you got lights up top here. I know this one works. That one I don't know so much about. Um, toolboxes, all that. Lift gate. The lift gate, I got the controls to go down really good. And it seems to be all functional. Uh, my battery is dead right now from setting. And I'm going to be redoing that. Um, we're going to have to jump start it here to do your uh, video. But lift gate's all good. And I'm looking for, I had somebody here with a jump battery. I guess everybody left me here with no help. So we will just go ahead and do it somehow. Here's my battery. Movable size and such. Here he is to get rid of it for me. I'm taking it to another lot for storage because I can't move it. Hey, I need you to move forward and shut your truck off. Can you move forward a bit? Um, I got a auto check here for you. And it's a two owner, super high score. All this checks out here on your mileage and such. So I'll put that in the ad for you. It's in great shape here. Crack in the dash right there. I'll get rid of that buzzer for you too. I'm sorry. Big old 460, 126 on it, I believe there was. 
no wear on the pedals or anything. Four by four. Everything's in great shape. Headliner's in great shape. Just smashed your auto check. Um, I'm gonna show you under the hood now. So, uh, hey, my tab cam's back here. So I'll pop the hood and I'll show you under here. And then we'll go show you the other side under the, um, in the inside. It's in great shape. Um, 460, Samantha's up top if you need to talk to anybody. Right. I'll be doing this for a while. Um, get a little thrown off out of out of character here doing these. I've got customers come up while I'm filming them and I've got a lot to do and I just, I'm not thinking straight when I'm doing a video. Um, I'm trying to think of what to show and make sure I show you all the problems. Like, this ain't a problem, but I think it was blue at one point. Um, and it's not no more, obviously. Um, everything's in great shape on it. It is what it is on... Um, these back tires are brand new. Well, they're not brand new. Little titties everywhere. I don't think they can be much old, because... They're just titties on the tread, too. Tearing that piece like he had put a radio through or something. Um... All your manual is in here, F series manual. Um, insurance, extra books. The guy's house information. So there's a couple of them that won't come with it here. But I'll go ahead and put the auto check in here too, as well. And we got Trent back, so we will start it up. That's both sides of the inside. You see the door jams are baby blue there too. Clearance lights, gotta have clearance lights on F-350. Now the other side, the door, I'll show you that. I hate when I'm doing a video and somebody just comes up and stands there next to me smoking a cigarette or something, I mean. Dude, come on, I'm talking, I'm doing a video, I tried to motion for you to go upstairs, I mean, what more can a guy do? I mean, say, get the hell out of here, ding right here, patina and stuff, just from being an old bed. We're going to start it up, he's got a jump box on it, AC's cold as can be in this truck, needs a muffler uh, hanger, or a muffler. So that is the deal. Um, you gonna let me out now? Cause there is no handle. And I should have told you that. Horn works. So we'll close the hood. That is the deal on that. Showed you pretty much everything I can on it. Kind of a different walk around. I don't have it set up like I usually do. Just simply because it's not a running driving unit. And I'm not able to, I, I didn't even move it out from where I had it show up. I had it showed up, stuffed it below here, haven't moved it. Don't want to get a whole bunch into it. Just want to make you a deal on this truck. Great work truck. Um, I, I think about throwing it on a trailer, taking it to Montana. That's exactly where this truck needs to be. It's a good 4x um, lift gate work truck. Thanks for watching. www.oneownercarguide.com Can't think of anything else to really tell you about it. Um, besides how nice them back tires are, how nice your interior is, how neat them buzzers sound, and just how the headliner looks great. Hope I remembered everything. Um, got thrown off a couple times, had to move around, and had to push it past the truck there because the train, oh geez, what a pain. But, I'm done. That's it. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Import, all export, I'll ship it right to your port, just we won't be driving it there. This one here is going to need the tranny, like I said. And other than that, you got a great work truck that is low mile, well maintained. Man, this thing will last you.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is.